welcome back to this week's video. So I've got some great products that I want to show you. Um, the ones that I've been using, I like to use things for a little while so I can make sure that I really like it. So what I'm going to do is start off with some skincare products and you know how much I love skincare. I use a lot of products and I think every single one of them has a purpose and the good thing about them is you can use them in conjunction with each other so um, even though you have a lot of products a lot of people are confused as to when to use them um, and a lot of products you don't have to use every single day if you use you know certain products three or four times a week and other products three or four times a week and you got morning and night to use it um, so you you can fit a lot of different things in and they have a lot of different purposes and you can also buy products that have a lot of different ingredients in them. So um, so today what I'm gonna show you is one of the products I really have been using a lot and I really do like um, is this niacinamide from The Ordinary. I've talked about this company before. I really like their products. They have some really great ones. The price point is amazing. They're typically under $10. Uh, and you can't, I mean, you just can't find that for something that actually <laughs> works and it's not prescription grade or medical grade. So this niacinamide is really great because it really helps reduce the size of your pores. Um, and I, I feel like, you know, if my skin looks non-porous, then my skin typically looks pretty good. And it also helps with fine lines and wrinkles. And the really good thing about it too, is if you get any type of a breakout and you have some residual, you know, brown dot on your face, this really helps get rid of it. So I got this in Ulta but I've also ordered them online before too. So uh, try this out, I think you'll really like it. You, you have to use it probably three or four times a week to really get the full effects of it, but you can use it morning or night, just fit it into your skincare routine whenever you can. My next skincare fave for this month or last month or a couple months before is this Oil of Olay Regenerist. Um, it, it's got retinol in it. And I know a lot of people um, you know, have sensitivity to retinol, depending on your skin type. I mean, everybody's skin is so different. So if I say, oh, this is great and you should use it, well, maybe your skin's completely different than mine. So it's hard to say, but if you're the type of person that can't handle um, a lot of retinol products, then this is really a great product, I think, because it's it's got the benefits of retinol, but it's not super strong. It's not gonna make you super peely. I actually add retinite, Retin-A to this. So, um, but if you could use this, you know, three or four times a week and um, just keep a little bit of retinol in your skin constantly, it'll help turn over the dead skin cells, build collagen, and um, keep your skin, you know, brighter and clearer. So. If you haven't tried this, I would definitely suggest trying it no matter what your skin type is. It's a great night cream um, and it's got a lot of great benefits to it. So my very, very good friend Shelly bought me a gift. She bought me the Fascia Blaster. I don't know if you guys have heard about this. Um, years ago I heard about it from my esthetician and she was telling me about it. And so I started using it and you can use it with a special oil. She bought me the oil to go with it. And sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. Like if I'm not gonna shower after, I don't use the oil that comes with it. I just use a moisturizer or uh, coconut oil. And so you just, you know, rub very vigorously on your legs and your butt and anywhere you want to get rid of any cellulite and or any, you know, irregularities in your skin, whether it be kind of ripply or dimply. And you, you do have to use it. You, it doesn't work unless you use it. But um, I do notice that my skin is just a little bit smoother. Um, so I go in two different directions. I go up and down and I go side to side. Um, but you do have to be careful with it too because I did bruise myself. <laughs> I got a little overly zealous and thought, oh my gosh, the harder I push, the more it's gonna break up these little, these little bands that are supposed to pull your skin in and, and form cellulite. So um, you don't have to go too crazy. There are videos online that you can view on how to use them, but I I do like this. Thank you so much, Shelly. I really appreciate it. And um, it's great for, you know, just trying to even out your skin. And I think it also probably helps with, with veins too, because it helps with circulation. So it's kind of like a deep massage. Um, but there is a rhyme and a reason for, you know, you know, the shape of it and, and everything. So check it out online, see if you can uh, you can find one, maybe watch some videos before you purchase it. 
but I really like it and I do think it really did help smooth out my skin a little bit. So my next fave that I have been wearing these for years, they're yoga sandals. Actually, aren't they supposed to be? Yeah, like this. <laughs> and what they do is you put them on and oops, they go in between each toe. Can you see? So it separates your toes the way they're supposed to be. Your feet are, and your bones in your feet are supposed to be out straight, just kind of like your hands. You know, you use your hands a lot and you use your feet a lot to grip. But I remember, you know, my grandmother had like those hammer toes where one toe kind of came over the other and I don't want that. That is one thing <laughs> that, that's not gonna be okay with me. So my mother turned me on to these yoga slippers probably at least 10 years ago and I wear them as slippers around my house because I don't like to walk around with um, nothing on my feet. I don't like to be in the kitchen or on any hard floor surface with nothing on my feet. I'm always afraid I'm gonna step on something or it's gonna be you know, a cold floor or yeah, it, just, it just doesn't work for me. It makes me feel like my feet are gonna get dirty. So I love these. You can wear them indoors or outdoors, um, but these are so great for just keeping the bones in your feet in the position that they're supposed to be in. So, um, you know, we wear, like I wear high heels a lot still, even though, you know, I'm older, I, I, I love heels. I think heels just make me look pretty. <laughs> I feel prettier in heels. Um, and, but they, you know, do a number on your feet. So what I do is I try to balance it out by wearing these when I'm at home. So just go to yogasandal.com and um, I think they're like $30 for a pair of, of yoga sandals and you can get a discount on you know the next pair, but um, they're just awesome. So check it out. So now we're moving on to some food products. So I've talked about this one before. I did a, um, a green drink video where I did a healthy green shake and I put this in it. It makes them super green, but there are so many health benefits that spirulina offers. It doesn't change the flavor of your shake, so if you're making a shake, there's no reason not to take a scoop of this and just throw it in there um, every time you make a shake. I mean, you're gonna get so much out of it that, I mean, it's an antioxidant, it's an anti-inflammatory, it helps boost your muscle performance, it helps control your cholesterol levels. I mean, there's just so many great benefits with this. Um, there's no reason not to try it out. I got this at Sprouts, it's organic. Uh, I'm sure you can find it at a Whole Foods or some of the other health food stores, but but try this. Try putting in a scoop every time you make a shake and um, I think you're gonna notice the difference. So if you're like me and you like to make a lot of salads or um, I like avocado toast, and so what really, really helps me to pump up the flavor is this Everything Bagel Seasoning. I got it in Costco. It lasts forever. Uh, it's all natural and it's just salt, garlic, pepper, sesame seeds, white and dark sesame seeds, and then like poppy seeds. But it's really yummy. It, I mean, I measure out my, my servings because I know that it has some calories in it. It's not calorie free like, you know, some other seasonings, but I'll use like maybe one or two teaspoons and it really helps pump up the flavor of my food. So I don't know about you, but I feel like I'm always struggling to stay hydrated throughout the day it's hard to keep drinking throughout the day. I feel like I drink a lot in the morning and then I drink a lot at night, but in the middle of the day, for some reason, I just don't really drink that much unless I drink coffee. So what I started doing was getting these zero calorie vitamin waters. And you know, they're great because there's no calories. They have a great flavor. Um, it's 20 ounces of fluid and it's got electrolytes, it's got antioxidants, it's got vitamin C, it's got magnesium. So you can't go wrong. So maybe check out these and just try drinking these right in the middle of the day, like keep it on your desk, that's what I do. And I just sip on it throughout the day and then I get 20 ounces that I wouldn't normally get of fluid plus all the other benefits of it. So if you're like me and you are you tend to get like belly aches um, after you eat, I typically get it at night for whatever reason, um, that's when my stomach <laughs> just doesn't want to do the right thing. So what I did was I started taking these super digest away pills. I'll just take two, um, you know, right before a meal or if I forget, I take it, you know, right during the meal. I'll just, you know, or even if I forgot, I'll take it after. It doesn't matter. I just take them. And it's crazy how much better I feel. Um, I, my stomach does not hurt. Um, it, it feels like 
you know, night and day. So I do, you typically do these at night because usually in the morning I don't have much of a problem or in the afternoon I'm fine during the day, but for some reason at night my body doesn't, just doesn't want to digest you know my food as, as efficiently so if you're feeling like you have a, a belly ache a lot I would definitely try these these super digest away pills um, uh, and so I you know you can get them at Whole Foods you can get them at Sprouts you could probably um, even get them in you know like any of the health food stores but they're really great and I, I really feel like they help me so I'm really trying to do what I can to help save the environment um, in different ways I always recycle um, I would drive a Tesla if I could. Uh, but so the one thing I did find lately that I really do like and I think uh, are really gonna help are just these glass straws. So we all know that they're having problems with the turtles and we had a pet turtle at one point. So, um, you know, I have a, a turtles, you know, close to my heart, I really, I really feel for them. And it's one of those things where I just feel like um, any little thing you can do is gonna help. So I'm never buying plastic straws again. These are great. They they come with a little cleaner, a little straw cleaner. So you can, you know, it's a little brush that you can, you know, clean it out with and it's just wonderful. I mean, um, and then I have a little holder that holds straws and so I'm, I've always got them in, in a place where I can easily find them. But um, I got these at World Market and I think they're great. I've, I've tried the metal straws before and I don't like them because uh, if you drink cold, uh, ice cold things, it, the, the straw gets really cold and it also kind of tastes a little metallic-y to me, which I don't really like. So um, if you can if you can find some glass straws, like I said, I got them at World Market. Maybe um, they sell them somewhere else, I don't know, but I haven't seen them anywhere else. The only place I've seen them. But, um, but whatever we can do to try to help, you know, the environment, I think we all should try. Even the little things really, really add up. So that's it for today. Hopefully you like some of these products. I mean, I think they're all great products and they're all something that I would buy again or something that I've gotten that I've used for many years. But um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment box. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, and I'll see you next Tuesday. I hope you guys have a great week. Thanks for watching. Bye.